Good day, fellow Earthlings. If you are looking for a new tripod, you should definitely watch this one. I've been looking for a new tripod for almost six months. Uh, looked at all the major known brands, but couldn't really find some um, or a product that met all my requirements. They're not too best, but uh, you know, I just had a clear picture of I, what I was looking for. Um, I mainly do landscape photography. I live in Sweden. I uh, do most of my photography in the north of Sweden, Norway, Iceland. Been to Canada. I like the cold weather, the harsh weather, the storms, uh, the raw nature, uh, which also demands quite a lot of your equipment and especially your tripod. And I felt that my first one wasn't sturdy enough. Um, and couldn't do all the things I wanted to, to do with it, basically. So I looked for, um, for a new one. Um, I wanted it to be sturdier, as I said, figure legs mainly. I wanted to, uh, the, the feet to be exchangeable, uh, because sometimes I quite a lot of shoot uh, photos at, at the beach uh, where the wind is worst uh, because it's so open so i wanted the feet to be exchangeable for uh, different spikes claws uh, different types of, uh, of feet uh, i also wanted it to be as resistant as possible to water and sand mainly because that's a pain in the butt to be honest when you're on the beach uh, it can ruin the best tripod you can ever imagine uh, I also wanted to have one for fourth uh, screw so you can have uh, the attachments to the uh, tripod. I think that's quite nice to be able to attach a lamp, power bank, speed light or whatever you need uh, directly to the tripod. Um, I also wanted something that you could take away the center column. The center column is always uh, the Achilles heel of a tripod. Sometimes you really need it and it can be nice to have it then, uh, but most of the time it's better to actually just take it off completely. Um, and on top of that, I was looking for something to easily connect a leveling base. Um, and if you don't know what a leveling base is, it's something that makes your tripod completely level to the ground, uh, which is crucial if you're doing panos. Uh, so, and yeah, finally, I found a, a brand, never tried that brand before, Leave Photo. Uh, found it online, started to look for where I could buy it, and I found out uh, mainly US or China, and as I live in Sweden, which is in the EU, I have to pay tax uh, if I order something outside of the EU. So that was a big hassle. Uh, so that was uh, not really interesting for me. So I actually found out that uh, Leo Photo has a reseller in Sweden. They are called Dext. Uh, I will put the link down below. If you live in this part of the world, you should definitely contact them if you are interested in uh, Leo Photo's uh, product. Super friendly. Uh, I actually called them and to see if this uh, was a tripod they actually had in store. Unfortunately, they said that this was not a tripod they were uh, going to have in the store. So uh, I was once again back to my plan A, buying it from US to a much higher price because of the taxes. Uh, but. Two weeks later, they actually uh, emailed me and said that they are going to do, um, yeah, fill up their stock, I guess, uh, for their own store. And they asked me if I was interested to put in a purchase directly from China uh, through Dext. Uh, and that was super friendly of them. Uh, so yeah, I jumped on it. So I just wrote down a list of uh, the tripod I wanted and all the accessories uh, to it. I was hoping to have the, the tripod for my uh, Canada trip. Uh, I just got back from Canada for a few weeks ago. 
unfortunately I didn't get it for that trip so I haven't been trying it out yet uh, but now I get it uh, couldn't find any videos of this tripod uh, no unboxing no review no nothing about this uh, tripod which I which I found very surprising so that's why I'm doing this and um, sorry for a bad setup here I'm sitting in my kitchen I uh, don't really have the proper gear for doing this video right now but I'm so excited of unboxing this one so I can't really wait uh, so yeah let's go let's check out this uh, Leo photo uh, the name is LG 324C LH 40R that's a mouthful to say to say the least but what I really did like about the Leo photo uh, which I haven't found in any other brand uh, making tripods uh, they actually have a different name they have a kind of a theme theme of, of, of certain tripods they have uh, and depending on the theme they give them a kind of a cool name actually so uh, in this series they have two tripods they're completely alike as far as I know it's just a color the one, one is silver and one is black uh, the two together calls uh, wings of God I think which is kind of cool uh, the silver one is called Gabriel and the black one is called Lucifer so I find that um, you know a little bit geeky maybe but it's just a fun touch which I actually appreciate and you can always call, just call it uh, Gabriel and everybody knows uh, you know what you're meaning uh, uh, instead of giving that long hard name so let's pack up this baby I'm super excited I am to be honest shitty nervous it wasn't uh, a cheap one never tried this uh, brand before uh, so I'm kind of nervous because since they shipped this spe uh, specifically for me to Sweden there is no really a, a refund on this one so if I'm disappointing uh, yeah I don't really know what to do <laughs> so anyway let's get to it take a knife let's see where the, we can open up this uh, puppy oh shit I'm so nervous now uh, all right So this is nothing more than that. Let's get rid of the box. Comes in a nice bag. Kind of standard for most brands today. I've seen the, the same on Manfrotto and yeah, most other brands to be honest. Um, you can also see the handles are not really uh, centered. That's because you should. It should actually be centered when you have the uh, the ball head uh, attached to the tripod, and then it weighs a little bit more on the other end. So quite nice sturdy bag. Uh, feels like this could be um, at least water resistant. So let's open up this and see what we have inside. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Uh, Alright, so this is... Let's see what this is. Uh, okay, so this is a strap if you want to carry the bag on your shoulders. Uh, some tools, I think it is. Some instructions. Pretty standard. Uh, and we have a pocket inside the bag as well and that is for the center column and this is Gabriel it's kind of silver uh, I wanted to go with the black in the beginning but then I thought what the hell why why not stand out when I'm taking my photos so go with the silver um, let me see yeah. Lightweight, it's uh, carbon fiber. Um, feels nice, I guess. 
Um, and now let's see, this was everything in the bag. So we put the bag inside. Uh, and now we have the tripod. God help me. Let us be a good tripod. I really need a good tripod now. Oh my God, just look at this beast. <laughs> oh shit, it looks so nice. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a really nice shimmer to it. So you can see the carbon fiber layers. Everything is made in uh, this silver finish. Uh, and yeah, you can see the ball head. I'm not sure if this is actually the, the best ball head in the world. I don't think so, to be honest, but I think it's uh, a good uh, enough ball head for most people. It feels very fluent. Uh, it's a nice resistance when you turn it like that. The knobs, this is the big one. Also a nice feel to it. Not sure if this is metal or... Uh, or some hard plastic, I'm not sure to be honest. Oh, anyway. The legs are very thick. This feels extremely sturdy. Uh, so this is a screw uh, solution. Not everybody likes that. I like it. And you can see that. Ah, it looks beautiful. So what's special with this one, uh, which I liked. Let's see if I can, uh, I need to collapse it again, I think. Uh, so for this one, it is the claim at least, uh, I need to try it out. Uh, the claim it's more water. Uh, in my case, I am not that bothered with water because we don't have salt water uh, up the, in, in the north. Um, but if you do have salt water, water can be a problem if you get water inside of the legs uh, and the corrosion. Um, and I think there is a ceiling here that should prevent uh, water and especially sand uh, to get into the uh, to the legs. So I have to try that out and I will uh, certainly do a video later on when I've tried it for, for sure. Um, it should also be, I think, if I'm not mistaken, all this metal here should be titanium as well as this which is very good uh, against corrosions. Nice heavy feet there actually. Easy to screw on and screw off. Uh, there is not much wiggle room. There is some, but there always is. But on the cheaper ones, you can sometimes feel there is a lot of wiggle room in, in the legs when you extend them. And in this one, I find it quite sturdy, actually. Very nice thick legs and very big uh, grips, easy to, uh, uh, to handle. I look forward to that because when I am in the north uh, of Scandinavia, uh, you really need thick gloves. Otherwise... You won't have any fingers uh, the next day so this will be very easy to to handle feels very sturdy and nice uh, maybe i can't have it uh, let's check out oh nice sound this is nice and tight very good uh, so there we have it we keep it on this uh, side uh, you can maybe see there is a hook underneath uh, of course, that's for your uh, bag or sandbag or whatever you need to uh, weigh down the, the tripod, which can be very important from time to time. I will just see if I can uh, understand this now, see if I can get this puppy. Okay, so if you want to release the ball head, sorry, you can't really see it. Uh, 
uh, you need to unscrew this one to loosen it up and then you have a security pin you need to push in and the ball head goes out so let's take a special look at the ball head this is how it looks i think it looks fantastic to be honest um, not too heavy but heavy enough you have two slits where you can if you want to go from horizontal to vertical uh, let's see if i understand all this oh there it was so you can go this way or you can go this way never had that on my previous tripod so let's see if that's something i will use or not uh, this one will attach the ball head firmly feels very sturdy uh, which my last tripod didn't i have i i mean i, I shoot landscapes and normally have uh, wide lenses 20 millimeters something like that but i also have a, a, a zoom lens uh, 300 to 600 and that is a heavy puppy and on my pro previous tripod i can feel that the uh, the ball head didn't really do the job it's kind of sacking so that wasn't really good this one feels very sturdy uh, you have a locking me mechanism on this one and uh, let's see what we have here another lever i think it's called in english uh, and you have to unscrew this one and then you have the standard swiss arca plate it comes with it i won't be using this one because i have my l bracket which i found uh, find very much uh, better than uh, these ones but that's really up to you uh, you also have a leveling bubble whatever it's called in english uh, on this plate um, uh, it really looks very nice i must say like it uh let's see if you can see the tripod the head and on this one you can also see you have the screw holes for uh, for attachment you have one there that's a big one i don't really remember the size of that one but i think uh, that one is one quarter uh, the standard one so there is actually two holes uh, you can use for uh, for uh, accessories and yeah this is really nice um, so let's jump into the next box because of course I order uh, some accessories as well and then, then I feel like a kid on Christmas seriously uh, come on Nothing. Nothing. Uh, here we go. Uh, the only thing I didn't like with this tripod was there is uh, this is just the, the naked legs of the tripod. Uh, and as I said, uh, if I am in the north of Scandinavia, uh, it can be extremely cold. Uh, so I don't really want uh, to touch anything. Uh, even if it's carbon fiber, it doesn't get that cold. Uh, but uh, this is just some protection you can put around the legs. Uh, it's some, uh, some sort of foam. Um, so that's that. Uh, order uh, an accessory arm. Let's see how that fits. Uh, everything is from Leo Photo, by the way. Uh, not sponsored by Leo Photo, I should add. I have purchased this myself. And you can see it goes beautifully into the base plate. Really nice. Like this. Sorry, you can't really see it. But there you have an arm attached, which I think is wonderful. 
And next package, come on. What is this? It's so long since I actually ordered this, so I don't really remember what, what I put in the basket. Okay, nice little pouch. And some kind of like, I guess it's fake leather in the bottom and a really soft clothing on, on the rest of it. And this is uh, some tool. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, perfect. This is the leveling plate. They actually had a special leveling plate uh, in the same series, uh, Gabriel in silver. So I was like, why not? Let's go for that as well. Uh, let's see if I can understand how this one should be put in. Uh, oh, come on, baby. Let's see if I can understand this. All right, so same procedure, but backwards. You need to pull in the safety pin and then uh, put it in the uh, in the base plate hole, and then you need to uh, screw this uh, lever, and it's safely um, uh, in position. Let's see what uh, this is actually doing. All right, nice. So you have this, let's see if you can see it. You have these two, you have one here and one here. So you can actually untighten the leveling base. The leveling base feels nice, good resistance. I like that, feels tight, no glitches. And I like there should be a, quite a resistance to it. It feels like it's fluid, like it's you're fighting against oil pressure or something. Really nice. So this is the leveling base, which I talked about uh, before. Uh, and if you want to do pano, you really need this one. Uh, and you also have the, the bubble. And when that's center and your camera is center, then you know when you do the pano, uh, everything will be uh, leveled. So if you want to exchange these for the uh, center column, if you would need it, tuck that in, tighten the lever. It feels nice, nice and tight. Same procedure here. Sorry, you can't really see the top of it. Same thing here, you have two levers. You Untight it and you can extend the center column. Let's see how it feels when it's extended. Um, can't see now, but yeah, this feels nice and sturdy, really nice. Damn, this is a nice job they have done on layer photo, I really must say. Uh, all right. What more do we have? Uh, what the heck is this? Okay, yes, some. Uh, I bought some special tools from Layer Photo. Good to have. Uh, this, uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, multi clamp uh, for the extension arm on your um, your tripod. You can have that for uh, power bank, flashlight, your phone, whatever you like. And this is, what is this? Mm. Mm. What the hell is this? All right, don't know what this is. Um, but three extra feet. I bought this separately, I should mention. Um, This is the claws. Uh, these are quite nice. A little bit more expensive. Completely in uh, titanium, so it won't corrode as easily. 
feels like there can be a good grip if you're on rocks and stuff like that. Uh, let's see if you can get that in bogos and you also have a, like a rubber gasket uh, to put on the on the feet. All right, that's nice. That's nice. I just realized that I'm actually missing one part. Uh, I need to contact uh, them again because I also think I ordered spikes, uh, long spikes to really dig into uh, soft ground. Uh, but I can't find them here. Maybe, maybe I actually forgot to uh, to order them. So I have to do that. Anyway, uh, let's see. I, I will, as I said, I will get back to you with a better video with with the height and uh, and stuff like that when I have really tried it out. The only downside I could find with this tripod it was uh, not really the uh, it wasn't the highest one. I am 180 centimeters. Sorry, don't know what that is in inch in US or some parts of the world, but I'm a normal sized man, I would say. And let's see if I can get everything out here. Uh, so there we go. I will just stand up to give you a preference of the height of the tripod. Uh, once again, sorry for being in my kitchen, really didn't plan to do this today, but I was just too excited. But you can see here, <coughs> if I bring it with you, so this is, uh, yeah, this is with, with the center column, um, what you call it, detracted, not extended anyway. So if I have my camera, it will be something like this. So yeah, I would need to go down a little bit, uh, but if I really need extra height, I can easily just extend the center column and it will be perfect. And it feels super sturdy. So I will just let you take a look at the beauty of it. Uh, it is looking really nice, I must say really nice thick sturdy everything seems to be very tight the legs the leg oh my god the work the fiber work is yes really beautiful uh, let's see i will put you back on the on the table again let me just try one thing ah, never tried uh, these before i will Detract the tripod again, so you can easily see uh, what I mean. I have seen uh, this solution on other brands, but I have never had a tripod with a solution myself. Uh, and it's these levers, or no, levers, I don't really know what it is. You can hear that pop up really nice, and then you can adjust the legs to let's see there is the first there's the second and there you go let's see there is the third um, really nice and it clicks back on to the next level if you push the leg inwards if you want to push it outwards you need to pull in the leg a little bit to give it a room, pop it up. And then you can actually, and this I really like, you can see it doesn't really pop in automatically, which I find very nice. Because sometimes when you're standing, uh, uh, you know, low on the ground, trying to find a, a weird position, uh, it's kind of annoying when it always pops into the next level and you're not really done and you have to go back and fibble with it. Uh, so yeah, this feels nice, really nice. I'm super excited uh, and I think it looks, yes, bloody awesome to be honest. 
let me know what you think. Have you seen this tripod before? Have you seen anything like it? Uh, I just love the color. Uh, the finish is just beautiful. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I will get back to you with a better review when I have actually tried it out in real life. See you soon.